today let's learn to breathe. I'm going to guide you through a simple technique of how to deepen your breath and to recognize how you yourself feel when you're mindful and taking in the breath of life that sustains you every day. Today I'm going to lead you through the most profound, simple, yet long deep breathing. The breath of life is the one thing we take for granted of. It's so mechanical. We, we don't actually tune into how do I breathe? Because we can wake up in the morning and totally bypass the fact that we woke up. <sighs> wow, you know? The first thing we should be doing in the morning is waking up and saying, thank you, God, source, universe. Thank my body, this temple. I can breathe. Because without the breath, we cannot live. It's just, it's as simple as that. But the majority of us are not breathing deeply. We're not tuning in and tapping into this whiz wealth of magic, of miracles. The fact that our body takes such good care of us and it all starts with the breath. And we can harness that breath and we can breathe deeply and pr profoundly in such a way that we are more vital, more vibrant, clearer, oxygenated. We can get all our our nutrients from the air, but I'm not looking to be a breatharian anytime soon. So I'm just going to lead you through long deep breathing because we can all take some time to slow down and become more mindful of our breath as well as with this awareness recognize, ooh, am I holding my breath? Do I have stress trying to breathe? Do I have blockages? Do I seize up? The breath is amazing because if we recognized how powerful we are just with breathing alone, how it can slow you down and tune you into your thoughts and your mind and where your mind goes and how it affects your breathing to begin with. We don't breathe deeply because we're holding onto something. And the only way to recognize it is to slow down and to become mindful of breath, find yourself in a nice, easy, simple, you can be laying down, you can be sitting upright, but you want to make sure that your spine is aligned in such a way that you're not hunching over. When we ha are rounding our backs or we're contracting our energy, we're, we're shutting down our ability to open our heart and our lungs. The wide open, lungs come from opening up the heart, opening up the chest, opening up the body in such a way that you can inhale and reach all those crevices, all the values of the body. Most important thing is that you can sit comfortably or lay down. Doesn't take rocket science. So as you're sitting, closing your eyes down, just start breathing into your body. Place your hands on your lap in Gyan Mudra, whatever is comfortable to you. You could be sitting in a chair. Just stack each vertebrae, one over the other. Breathing in as you breathe. Notice how the air enters your nostrils. Notice how it goes down the back of the throat. Travels down and it starts to expand as it goes down. You First, you wanna go as deep into the pelvic floor as you can so you can expand that belly. And as that belly expands, you'll notice your rib cage will expand and then your chest will lift. So you open up in such a way that your body is like, oh, I'm full. And when you're full, you exhale and you let the chest lower. The diaphragm will come in because that area is right in here. It's like a little flapper and then pull in and up at the navel point toward the spine. And just tune in and like I said, keep your eyes closed. You don't have to watch me except for if you wanna watch this video over again for some insight. But just breathe long and deep and notice, notice your body. Feel into, am I, am I itchy? 
Is my mind trying to go somewhere? Notice it, but don't attach to it. Focus the eyes in between the eyebrows at this third eye center and just keep that fixation. That stimulates a pituitary gland, which sends off a host of all these amazing chemicals that keep you balanced, your hormones. It's what keeps you out of the stress mode because what happens is the vagus nerve, when it relaxed, secretes this amrit nectar, this, this, these juices that we are totally unaware of, and it lands on the heart and it calms you. So with long, deep breathing, you can calm yourself and claim yourself. So continuing to breathe long and deep down into the pelvic floor, feel yourself getting taller, leaner, elongating through the crown of the head. Keep that head level with the shoulders, ears over the shoulders and the shoulders over the hips. And if you're lying down, just notice how your belly rises and then how it lowers. Notice all the sensations in your body. If thoughts come in, let them go out. What goes up must come down. So inhale long and deep. And at your own pace, notice also, count the breath. Let's count the breath to 10, inhaling on the count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hold and pause for a moment. And then exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause with the out. This is just a nice added benefit, but you continue. And if you notice your breath is longer, try to keep equal on the inhale and the exhale. Just breathe and appreciate and recognize where you feel it. Take time for you. Notice how your shoulders soften away from the ears. If you notice your shoulders start to slunch forward, just roll them up to the ears and roll them back. Make little adjustments to improve your experience, to open up those lungs more. But release any tension as best you can Use the power of that breath to breathe into any areas of tightness. If you notice you're clenching your jaw or stiff along the sides of your neck, consciously send that breath to those areas. Give yourself permission to be present and relax. If uneasy thoughts drop in, just let them be. You are not your thoughts, but you are your breath. And the more open and deep your breath, the more deep and open your life. Just counting, taking 10 deep breaths and 10 deep exhales. Just feel yourself relaxing and softening and notice how your mind, as you watch your breath, become the observer, become the witness to your own personal experience. Your mind can watch and if you keep it busy, maybe you use a mantra, you give yourself some seed intention I am enough. Today, let's be enough for us. That way, others will see us. And if we hold true to knowing, I am enough. So inhale and just, I am enough. Exhale in your mind, just, I am enough. Inhale. 
inhale long and deep and just feeling that expansion feel all of your cells enlivened feel the tingles and feel that deep connection to how I am enough you don't have to prove yourself to yourself or anyone else you just need to be be authentically present mindfully aware and what you're able to recognize and witness gives you so much more insight to you, deepens your intuition, your into me I see, your intimacy with yourself. Breathe long and deep, I am enough. Exhaling, mentally chanting, I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. Sometimes we just need to be reminded and the one person who will remind you the best is going to be you. I am enough. I am enough. be your mantra today. I am enough. If you find yourself tensing up, pay attention to the quality of your breath throughout the day. If at any time today you feel stressed, overwhelmed, angry, upset, take a moment and place your left hand on your heart, your right hand on your belly, and breathe long and deep. Chances are you may have shallow breathing during these times. When emotions are stirred, the body responds to the mind. And the reaction may be that you catch yourself stuck breathing only up to the neck or shallowly into the chest. Breathe into your heart and soul. I am enough. Take time throughout the day and just take 10 long deep breaths and exhales and Remind yourself, I am enough. Taking these pauses throughout the day are also ways of nourishing yourself. Especially when your day may be filled with so much to do, so much overwhelm, inundation of life expectation, obligations, and just the inner dialogue of the mind. Take the time for you. If you don't have time for what you would consider quality self-care and nourishing time for you, stop and breathe. Because this in itself is the most beautiful, loving act you can ever do for you. Be present. Tap into your essence with the quality of deep breathing long deep breathing expanding yourself because the breath of life is all about expansion when we work on deepening our breath becoming more present we actually create this amazing energetic magnetic force field around us the aura expands our subtleties of what's going on around in the world are more enhanced when we ourselves enhance our connection to our breath within. I hope you enjoyed just this small little segment of long deep breathing. At any time you can always come back and listen. It's the beauty of videos as it has been recorded just for you. If you have any questions or you want to reach out to me directly, I am here for you. Tap into the quality of your breath and I, I trust beauty is within you. So if you feel that life is throwing some serious challenges, take a moment, pause, and breathe long and deep. The long, deep breathing is what will get you through life. 
any challenges that you're facing, come back to the breath. When the mind starts creating stories, come back to your breath and remind yourself, I am enough. Use that as your mantra today. I know I am enough. But sometimes I need to be reminded as I'm trying to remind you through this beautiful day to start it out. You are enough. I love you very much. Many blessings.